In this episode, Golden and I discuss Supergirl Season 5. Full speed ahead. Welcome to the Omega Beam number 80. I'm your host, Oren Merton. I hope you're doing well. So we're going to continue with what we started last episode, which is wrapping up the recently concluded CW superhero shows. This time out, we're going to talk about Supergirl Season 5. There's light spoilers, but nothing too major, so let's get right into it. I am here with Golden to talk about Supergirl Season 5, which, like the other Arrowverse shows that have ended so far, it ended prematurely thanks to Shutdown. There were supposed to be 22 episodes that were origin- that were um, shunted to 20 and eventually 19 because they didn't finish the last one. What did you think of this season? Um, it definitely started rocky for me. Mm-hmm. I kept, I think I kept saying to you, okay, if Lena turns evil, I'm done watching. That's it. I'm, I'm done. Because I really appreciated for the other seasons that no matter what, Lena was always wanting to do good. Mm-hmm. Well, to start talking about some of the good things, I think one of the best things about this season, not to be incredibly shallow, but one of the best things about this season, we actually found out about at Comic-Con before the season aired, and that was the pants. Yes. I loved the costume. I thought they really, really did a fantastic job with the costume. And that gave me, as silly as it is, the costume is not storytelling necessarily, but it did get me excited that maybe they were going to do something exciting and new and like i've said with with the flash and the other arrowverse shows i loved the crossover the crossover was incredible but i feel that the arc of the season this sort of technology based alien villains using tech and things with this side story of lena going bad and being upset with Supergirl and people not being able to forgive each other. And I don't know. It just, I know they have to create tension to create drama, but I think when they start having characters just completely change how they interact with each other, it, if you like it, that's great. And if you don't, then it kind of loses it. I mean, I kind of lost it. I get that. Like Lena, keeps experiencing betrayal Mm -hmm. from people that she feels like she should be able to trust. I get that. Um, And I feel for the character and it was just, it was sad. And I think that um, Lex Luthor's character is just, entertaining is all heck oh john crier does one of the best lex luthers out there we've said it before and and i i stand by it Uh, it, there have been a lot of wonderful actors who played lex luthor but he really nails the sort of comic booky lex luthor that i love to see and so yeah he's a joy whenever he's he's on on set yeah i just wish the story had been more engrossing I mean, the story the story was interesting. You know, you had a couple different, like, side things going. You really, at times, don't know who's really on what side. And right. um, I know one of the things I told you that I really liked is that they took Miss Tessmacher, mm-hmm. Eve, and they, they made her someone who isn't the dumb blonde. Right, right. Here's someone who's very smart and very capable. And it was nice to see that character... In a new light. Yeah. yeah, uh, The strength of the CW Arrowverse shows is the characters. That I keep watching it because I love the characters, you know. And I think it gives them a depth that you don't get in uh, in just sort of previous shows about superheroes they've done over the years past or in some other lesser superhero shows. So absolutely, the characters are fantastic. I wish they just gave them a more interesting story to... uh, to go with it. I'm sure some people probably love the story, but yeah, it just, it just kind of, 
fell a little flat for you. Yeah, it did. I I kind of feel in some ways the same with Supergirl as I did with The Flash, where if you're a fan, then by all means, watch the season just so you know what's up with the story and what's up with the characters. It's not bad. It's certainly entertaining. If you're not a fan, this season won't make you a fan. And if you're interested in jumping in, I would certainly not recommend this season as the one to start with. It was, um, there were, there were a couple interesting, Alex doesn't really know where to go. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're kind of, and you're kind of with her with it, with that. I'm like, okay, well, I don't know where to go with you either. (laughs) I don't know how to feel. Maybe the writers were, were just expressing their real feelings as they were writing the character going, where do we go with her? But you, yeah, you have um, Jesse Rath's character. Yeah, I did not like what they did with his character, but um, I thought what they did with Brainiac was they just kind of had him just sort of like, I don't like what I'm doing, but I'm doing it because I'm supposed to. But am I supposed to? But yeah, I, just, you know, I think just that a little um, the last episode redeemed that, though. I felt like something that happened in the last episode really was that character's redemption for the rest of the season. Sure. And and again, what's unfortunate is that clearly it was supposed to be resolved in the next episode or two as mm-hmm. to that, but it's not because they had to shut down production yeah. due to, you know, shelter in place and all that. So it will be interesting to see in 2021 season six, are they going to just do these shows and then... And and the other thing that, you know, I really felt like came to resolution, which needed to come to resolution, was the whole Carolina thing. Yeah, yeah. I wish it had happened sooner, but at least it happened. So, you know, certainly this was a watchable season. It just, oh, yeah, it no, just this, one, this one to me was still... I was a lot more into this season than I was... The season of the Flash. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's something to be said for that, definitely. Well, thank you, Golden. You're welcome. And that's it for this episode. You can find the show notes at theomegabeam.com/slash/eighty. If you liked this episode, please leave a review in the Apple Podcasts app or wherever you listen to podcasts. It's these reviews that help people who like this kind of thing find our podcast. If you have any comments or suggestions, just drop us a line at info at theomegabeam.com. Be good to yourselves and each other, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.